Hey guys, today I've got a matching roper, which is made by Whirlpool, washer and electric dryer set. And I've got them running right now, so I can show you both of them are working perfect. As if you're standing here yourself, checking it out. The washer got filling up, so I've got a, oh, I'd call it about a medium sized load down in there. Now I've got this set to regular with the deep water wash option. I skipped the extra rinse. Um, and then I've just got the temperature set to cool. Now I always run four loads through these to make sure everything on is working perfect. But on this one, I wanted to show that you can get the full submersion of water usage. You've got the agitator down in there, so everything's gonna get nice and clean. No problem with anything getting wet. Now typically you wouldn't be able to lift this up. The lid would be locked, but I've got, I just bought an extra one of these on Amazon so I could stick in here. That way we can see what's going on as it fills up with water and agitates and spins and all that. And I'm gonna, once I'm done showing off the dryer, I'm gonna cut back to the drain working and the um, spin cycle being nice, fast, and smooth. All things you'd wanna know if you were standing here yourself, checking it out, those are things you'd wanna check. Make sure the spin cycle's nice and fast and sounds good. Over here, I've got the dryer running. So there it is off. You can do time dry, you've got automatic dry. I always just typically do time dry. Hit start. And now the dryer would be even quieter if you had the vent hose hooked up to the back. You wouldn't hear the blower motor running. But you've got your lint trap right here. You wanna make sure that gets changed before every load. You've got some no heat options. You got a low heat, high on automatic, and high on time. So uh, three heat options there. And then I've got my heat gun. I'm gonna show you that it is in fact heating like it's supposed to. So top of the dryer is coming in about 71 degrees. Concrete floor, 57 degrees, a little cooler down there. So let's open this up. You see it's tumbling like it's supposed to. It's gonna be nice and hot inside the heating element tube. And then uh, that heat come, pumps out of here. It's gonna heat the inside of your dryer anywhere from about 95 up to 195. Just depends on what you have your heat setting at up top there like I was showing you and then how long it's been running also. So the heat circulates with the clothes and goes out right there where the lint trap catches it, down the blower motor and out the back of your dryer. You just wanna make sure you've got a nice, clean, clear path for the air to flow. And that's essentially how that electric dryer works. So once this is done filling up with water, I'll come back. You can see we're just about full submersion there. And then it'll get started with a heavier agitation. There you go, full submersion, or deep water wash, whatever you want to call it. And the agitator is getting busy, vortexing those clothes down and getting them clean. Okay, now the drain's running. Draining all that water out nice and fast. Yeah, nice quiet operation on the drain. So from here, it's gonna fill back up with fresh water for the rinse cycle, it'll agitate then drain out once again for the final spin cycle. So it will spin out this soapy water before it fills back up with the fresh water for the rinse cycle. So the next thing I'll come back for, finish this off, is to show you the uh, final spin. All right guys, we're done with that rinse cycle. On to the final spin. And if it looks like those are flashing, they're actually not. I'm not sure why it looks like they're flashing on the video, at least from here it looks like they're flashing, but they're actually not. They're solid lights, and there's it spinning at full speed, nice and fast. And uh, once again, you wouldn't be able to open it because of this lid lock that I bypassed by just putting an additional uh, replacement lid lock switch there. So, just so you know, you wouldn't be able to open this up at home. This would be locked, lid would be locked, and cannot be opened. But there you go. You can see, nice, fast, smooth operation. Sounds great. So I'll go ahead and let that finish up. We'll get these listed up for sale. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Y'all have a great day.